What's going on, Squad Drone Dude? And uh, I want to say something before I start this video, guys. Um, Hailstorm, thanks for subscribing to me. Brian, thanks for subscribing to me. And uh, Matic, RC Matic, or Medic. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm sorry, but thanks for subscribing. You guys got me up to 73. I love you guys. Um, but I was asked about. Oh, what happened to your drones, you know? Uh, a lot of things happen. You let friends fly your drones, they end up crashing because they don't really know much about drones. So, what happened was I have three broken drones, and I decided, hey, why not, on three broken drones, try to make one working drone. So, good news, bad news. Good news is my SEMA's coming back together. Bad news is, I had to use my tarantula, guys. Look at the size of these, guys. Yeah. The tarantula just overpowers it. But, a lot of you guys know this. Uh, the tarantula X6 is a what they consider a large quadcopter. As you guys can see the size of it to my hand, it's pretty big. It's bigger than the SEMA. That's the SEMA's body compared to it. It's, like I said, twice the size of the SEMA. And SEMA's bigger than the JJRC uh, H... I think H36. I'm not sure. Please don't quote me on that. But as you guys can see, the JJRC is smaller than a SEMA. So there's three sizes right here. You can throw, well, technically two sizes. Well, three, yeah, because the electronics on here are actual SEMA 5X electronics. As you guys can see, SEMA 5X. Uh, Amazon, they're like 40 bucks, guys. They are really good. They're not toy grade. They're actually hobby grade drones. They last longer than the toy grade ones. It's got really strong plastic uh, this same thing was a hobby grade but it got hit by too many cars too many trucks flying FPV and he's completely broke I'm waiting on a cat uh, blah, crash kit sorry guys same thing I'm waiting on a crash kit for one two and three all three of them I'm waiting on a crash kit but this is what I wanted to show you guys I took as you guys see the mounts that are in here still so I took the extra mounts I had and I stuck them on the seam mount uh, just with a screw in there I had to cut part of it so it fits in there uh, I had to cut down the propellers slightly just so they don't slap each other and I feel like when I did do my test flight the propellers were too long because they came up to here and there was only a space for your finger to fit in between and now I have it set so you got a whole like almost a whole fist in there because it was given too much lift and you don't want too much lift on an FPV quadcopter you'll trust me you'll end up in trees where I live so I wanted to drop his lift without adding weight to them so why not cut his propellers down? I got more propellers anyways. But so far so good. A lot of people a lot of you guys are just probably wondering what's up with the landing gear, why they're all different. Uh like I said, it's a scratch build. You got pieces from everything. Uh a SEMA 5XC are the red ones. A SEMA 5X upgrade is the normal black one, and then the skinny black one in the front is from the JJRC. Which I'm going to switch them all to JJRC. It's just to show you that different ones can fit on different quads. Like if I wanted to, I could take the feet off these and put them on that JJRC. <coughs> but I haven't made a video in a couple days because I've been chopping and finding pieces to build this guy just to get you guys a... Uh, couple flight videos with my uh, FPV goggles I built. Uh, for those who have not seen that video, uh, 
I've done a couple of modifications to it now. It's got a bigger battery. It's got a 3.7, as you guys can see. 11 watts per hour. It's a 3,000 milliamp. It's by Yuku. Yaku. I don't know how to pronounce this. Sorry, guys. But, uh, yeah, bigger battery, obviously. Longer flights and everything. Uh, just so people don't think I'm bullcrap in about the FPV monitor. It says I'm on uh, low battery. It's ain't bad because I haven't charged it ever since I built it. But you just take an FPV monitor, <clears throat> cut some cardboard, make a box, you know what I mean? So it's like you're actually in virtual reality once. Uh, well, after I built this, I figured out that Walmart sells almost the same thing, just a cheaper, I would say better version than what I built, guys. Mine's an actual 5.8 gigs uh, FPV monitor, as theirs is just VR goggles, which is virtual reality, for those who do not know. So what you do is basically you would just open up the, like, I don't know, reservoir, Open it up, you put your phone in it, and slide it shut again. Like I said, I used an actual FPV uh, screen monitor. And just like I said, built a box for it. But I'm going to be using them with this guy when it's finished. Like I said, I had to take a couple things apart now and I'm just put them back together. But... That's all I got so far, guys. I'm sorry for the long video. Just explaining why I haven't been around for the past couple days. And again, special thanks to Brian Hailstorm. And I want to say your RC medic. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, but thanks for subscribing. You guys got me up to 73. Subscribers, my goal is 100. Thanks for uh, finding me, sharing my stuff. Uh, if you guys leave stuff in the comments, I will do them. Uh, obviously, not some dumb stuff, but if it involves RC, anything RC, let me know. I'll do it. I'm looking for people that have got some crazy ideas. Like uh, Brian, when he first subscribed to me and looked at my FPV goggles, he asked me if I could do any upgrades to it. Yes, Brian, sorry. I did do a couple upgrades to them already, as I showed you. But also, I put double-sided tape. So I could change my graphics anytime I feel. The whole thing's done in double-sided tape now. Even the battery's double-sided tape down there, so that way it doesn't look so luck. I just need to work on my one strap making that double-sided tape, but that's pretty hard to do, so I just taped it to the original battery port. But, so I got to show you guys now until he's finished and I start flying with him. Other than that, you guys have a great morning.